And something that we see looking from now from Israel looking at the United States is almost like the, the, the conflict has been hijacked and people are using it uh, in, in their own internal struggles in the United States about issues that really have nothing to do with us. And that uh, uh, it's like the real victims are now people in the United States who are not allowed or are allowed to say this or to say that. And it's not about you. So if you're really interested in the conflict, then uh, uh, all these questions of, of language and, and, and the limits of freedom of speech in the United States or in Europe, they should take a back seat. And we should try to focus on what are the facts and not necessarily on how do we call them.